Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class we completed with the second chapter that was addition. So today what we'll do is we'll do a quick revision on addition and see a few more additional problems on this topic. Okay. So addition we saw what was addition right. So what is addition? Addition is nothing but finding sum or a total of two or more numbers by combining them together. Correct. So when you combine two or more numbers together, you add them and you get a result. So that result is called the sum or the total. Okay. So then we learned two types of addition. The first one was addition of four digit numbers without regrouping. And then we learned addition of four digit numbers with regrouping. So first let's see what is addition of four digit numbers without regrouping. So, uh, they give you two four digit numbers and they'll ask you to add them. So, what you'll do, what you'll do is first write the numbers in columns that is in a table like this vertically in their place values. So, we have 1406 and 2370 over here. So, first you'll write 1406 in their places. So, 6 is in 1's place, 0 in 10's, 4 in 100's and 1 in 1000's place and then 2370, 0 in 1's place, 7 in 10's place, 3 in 100's place and 2 in 1000's place. Then we start the addition. So first step in addition is first you add the digits in 1's place. So, so in one place here I have 6 and 0. So 6 plus 0 will be 6. So I'll write 6 in under the 1's column. Then moving, then we add the second step is to add the 10's. So the 10's here are 0 10's and 7 10's. So 0 plus 7 will be 7 itself okay then we move on to hundreds place in hundreds place i have 4 and 3 so how much is 4 and uh, 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 will be 7 and then we add the thousands place so the last step is to add the digits in thousands place which is 1 plus 2 3 okay so these are the different steps in adding four digit numbers without regrouping then we saw another example Right, so we saw 1234 plus 5712. So, first we write them in vertically in columns in the table, then we add the ones. So, 4 plus 2 is 6, then we add the tens, 3 plus 1. So, which is 3 plus 1 is 4. Correct, and then we add the hundreds place. In hundreds place, we have 2 and 7, that is 2 plus 7, 9. In thousands place, I have 1 and 5, so 1 plus 5. Six. So the answer is six thousand nine hundred and forty-six. All right. Then we saw addition of four-digit numbers with regrouping. So what does regrouping mean? Whenever in any place you have a number which is greater than nine or a two-digit number, you regroup them to the next place. Okay. So similarly, when they've given you two numbers to add, you first write them in columns. Okay, so write them in their place values and put them in vertical columns. Then, so here are the numbers are 5,878 and 3,327. So, when you write it in columns, you get like this. 8 in 1s, 7 in 10s, 8 in 100s and 5,000s. Then the second number will be 7 in 1s, 2 in 10s, 3 in 100s and 3 in 1000s. Then here also we start adding the 1s. So, in one's place here I have 8 and 7. So how much is 7 plus 8? 7 plus 8 is 15. So I got 15 ones. Now this 15 ones I'll regroup them as 1 tens and 5 ones. So 5 ones I'll write on the ones column and 1 ten I'll carry it over to the tens place. Now we'll add the tens place. So we add the 1 which is carried over plus 7 plus 2 which is 10. So here I have 10 tens, right? Here I have 10 tens. So this 10 tens will regroup it again. How we'll do that? We'll regroup that 10 tens as 100 and 0 tens. Okay. So now 100 will carry over to 100's place and 0 will write in 10's place. Then we add the 100's place. So in 100's place we have 1 which is carried over then 8 and 3. So 1 plus 8 is 9 and 9 plus 3 is 12. So we have 12 hundreds. Correct. So that 12 hundreds again we regroup it as 1002 
hundreds so the two hundreds we write in the two uh, hundreds column and the one thousands we carry it over to thousands place so in thousands place i have one which is carried over plus five plus three which is one plus five six and six plus three nine so the answer is nine thousand two hundred and five then we saw another example 5879 plus 3551 so we arrange the numbers vertically in columns and then we add the ones so we follow the same procedure here also so 9 plus 1 10 so we carry 1 10 to tens place then 1 plus 7 8 8 plus 5 13 so we write 3 in tens column and carry over 1 to hundreds place so in hundreds place we have 1 plus 8 plus 5 which is 14 so we write 14 in hundreds column and 1 in thousands we carry over then we add the thousands 1 plus 5 6 6 plus 3 9 which is 9430 so this is how you add four digit numbers with regrouping all right then after this we saw a few properties of addition correct we saw addition properties so first property we saw was order property of addition or also changing order of two numbers so here what you'll do now you have they've given you two numbers to add okay so what order property says is you can arrange these two numbers anyhow that is you can change the order of the two numbers and add them and yet your result will be the same so you add the two numbers in any order your final sum okay will be the same so here we have seen an example right 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and also 2 plus 4 is also equal to 6 then we saw grouping property of addition also changing order of three numbers okay so here they have given you three numbers to add and these three numbers you can group them that is first you add two numbers group those two numbers together and add them and the result what you get by adding those two numbers you add it to the third number okay so this so you can group the numbers anyhow so you can add the three numbers in any order and your sum will be the same at the end okay so this is grouping property of addition now order property of addition is also known as the commutative property and grouping property of addition is also called as associative property and then we saw what is zero property of addition so what is zero property of addition here to your to any number you add zero the sum will be the number itself so you add any number to zero your final answer will be that number itself okay because zero has no value zero it means basically means nothing right so you can add anything to zero and your answer will remain the same then we saw adding one okay we saw how to add what happens when you add one to any number so whenever you add one to any number you get the successor of that number for example if i take 750 then 750 plus 1 will be 751 which is the successor of 750 right so these were the different properties of addition then we saw what were number stories so what were number stories number stories were nothing but where they give you a a uh, story you need to read the story carefully read the numbers carefully and form your sentences and then see what is the problem and find the answer okay so you have to uh, you have we read some rules right we saw some rules right uh, you need to read the no story properly read the problem correctly then tell it in your own words and then find the solution okay so we saw different story problems now what we'll do is we'll quickly see a few uh, additional questions on addition other than what we have done in your textbook okay okay so first one fill in the boxes by adding the following okay so first question is 270 plus 1 so we know that uh, the property that is there adding property of by 1 so whenever you add 1 you get the successor of it so 270 plus 1 will be 271 right then 342 plus 27 so how much is 7 plus 2 it is 9 then 4 plus 2 is 6 and 3 plus 0 will be 3 so that is 369 
then 5 plus 4 we have 9 2 plus 1 3 and 2 plus 3 5 so 539 then how much is 342 plus 18 so 2 plus 8 is 10 so we'll carry over 1 to 10's place then 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 and then we have 3 plus 0 3 so 360 okay so answer is 360 then 256 plus 62 so 6 plus 2 is what 6 plus 2 is 8 okay and then 5 plus 5 is 10 so you write 0 and carry over 1 so that 1 plus 2 will be 3 and 3 plus 6 will be 9 so 908 is the answer then 7 plus 7 is 14 carry over 1 to 10's place 10's place we have 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 2 7 and then 3 plus 4 is 7 so 774 so all our answers are right okay so this was one part of the uh, problems then next part the smallest one digit number and the largest two digit number so what you have to do here fill in the boxes with the sum of the following so what is the smallest one digit number here the smallest one digit number is one okay and the largest two digit number is how much largest two digit number is 99 so how much is 1 plus 99 1 plus 99 will be 100 okay 1 plus 99 will be 100 then small largest two digit number and the smallest three digit number so what's the largest two digit number largest two digit number as we just saw is 99 and the smallest three digit number is 100 so when you add that you will get 199 okay 199 so second answer is 199 then third one the smallest three digit number and the largest one digit number okay so what is the smallest three digit number it is 100 and what is this largest one digit number it is 9 so how much is 100 plus 9 it is 109 okay so it is 109 and then the smallest two digit number and the largest three digit number so what is the smallest two digit number smallest two digit number is 10 and the largest three digit number is 999 okay so how much is 999 plus 10 so what will you get when you add these two numbers yes you will get 1009 okay so the answer here is 1009 so you 1009 okay and then the smallest three digit number and the largest three digit number so what is the smallest three digit number it is 100 largest three digit number is 999 so when you add that you'll get 1099 so what's the answer it is 1099 okay then the smallest one digit number that is one and the smallest three digit number hundred so hundred plus one is hundred and one okay so answers are right then question number three fill in the boxes by adding the following so how much is 10 plus 25 10 plus 25 will be 35 then 200 plus 50 now 200 plus 50 will be 250 300 plus 600 3 plus 6 is 9 so 900 then 20 plus 20 plus 48 so what we'll do first add 20 plus 20 which is 40 then 40 plus 48 will be 88 okay then 30 plus 50 plus 90 so we'll add 30 plus 50 plus first which is 80 and 80 plus 9 89 and then 300 plus 75 plus 2 so first add 300 and 75 so you get 375 so when you add 2 to it you will get 377 next one 427 400 plus 27 plus 33 so now what you can do you can add 27 plus 33 first which is 
sixty, and then you can add four hundred to it. So that is four hundred and sixty. Okay, and last one two hundred plus two fifty plus one fifty. So two fifty plus one fifty is four hundred, and four hundred plus two hundred is six hundred. Okay, so this was the third part of the problems. Now fill in the boxes by adding. So this is addition. So what is the answers here? See, one plus three. What is one plus three? One plus three is four. Then tens place three plus two is five. Then hundreds place four plus three is seven, and thousands place two plus one, three. Okay, so three thousand seven fifty four. Then five plus one. What is five plus one? It is six. Four plus three is how much? Four plus three is seven. One plus four. Which is five and three plus five, eight. So eight thousand five hundred and seventy six. Then eight plus one. How much is eight plus one? It is nine. Then tens place two plus one, three. Then zero plus eight is eight and two plus three, five. And then D one. Five plus three is how much? Five plus three is eight. Then Four plus three. What is four plus three? Four plus three is seven. Then one plus one two, and then one plus two, three. Okay, so three thousand two seventy eight. Then E one zero plus eight is eight. Then two plus five seven. One plus eight nine, and six plus three nine. So nine thousand nine hundred and seventy eight. So last one, four plus five. What is four plus five? It is nine. Two plus seven is again nine. Two plus one is three, and four plus two is six. So six thousand three hundred and ninety-nine. So these are all correct. Okay. So now fill in the boxes by adding. So what I want you to do is to, uh, copy down these questions and solve the problems. Okay, solve them and we'll uh, see the answers later. So copy down these questions. Okay, so uh, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So these six problems you can do for your homework. So you can either take a screenshot of this page or you can copy it down in your notebooks and solve them. Okay, now add the fill in the boxes by adding the following. Okay, so seven plus five. So how much is seven plus five? It is twelve. So I write two carry over one. So that is four plus one plus two, which is seven. Seven, and then we have six plus two, which is eight, and two plus three, five. So five thousand eight hundred and seventy two. Okay, and then four plus three. What is four plus three? Four plus three is Seven, then seven plus eight. How much is seven plus eight? Fifteen. So we write five and carry over one, two hundreds place. So one plus three, four, and four plus one is five, and then one plus two is three. So three thousand five fifty seven. Then five plus five is how much? Ten. So we write zero, carry over one. Then three plus one, four, and plus one is five. Then seven plus four. How much is seven plus four? Seven plus four is eleven. So we write down one and carry over one to thousands place. So one plus two plus two. How much is it? It is five. So five thousand one hundred and fifty. Okay. Copy down these last three questions also. These last three questions are also for your homework. So complete these for your homework. So the problems in the last part, those six questions, and then these three. Problems. Okay. Okay. Now fill in the boxes with correct answer using properties of addition. Now six thousand four fifty eight plus zero. So we know that whenever we add zero, we get the number itself. So we write the number here: six four five eight. Then three one two nine plus four thousand three twenty nine is equal to four thousand three twenty nine plus dash. So here we know that two numbers in any order will get the same answer. So these two answers will be equal if this number is three thousand one twenty nine. 
and then 7846 plus dash is equal to 7846 so here 7846 plus 0 only will give you the same number so 0 then 2358 plus 1234 plus 5678 so here I have 5678 plus 2358 so which is the third number which is missing it is 1 2 3 4 Okay, so dash plus 9875 is equal to dash plus 2453. So these are same, uh, they, uh, both the answers are equal. Correct, so both the numbers should be same. So this is 2543 and this is 9875. Okay, so here what is the number missing in the last one? It is 329. Okay, so this was properties of addition now choose the following answers from the options below so there uh, this is a story problem right so there are 1350 students and 175 staff in school so what is the total number of students and staff so when you add both the numbers that is 1350 and 1075 so number of students plus staff in the school will be equal to total number of students and staff that is equal to 1525 okay so 125 okay so that's your answer okay so this is how you do addition all right so we'll continue in the next class students that is with the next chapter which is subtraction Alright, thank you.